When I was in juvie, I was there for six hours. And I'm mm. telling you something, man. Processing that was, they call. That was one of the longest. I'm one of the longest motherfucking six hours of my life, man. Taken away from society. I ain't, I, ain't, I, ain't had no, I ain't had nobody to talk to. Motherfuckers ain't let me take my Nintendo in there. And that was the time when the pad, remember they had the, <clears throat> the fucking track and field pad that you can run over with the mm -hmm. duck hunter and shit? All that was gone. How do you not know that your trunks are gone? How do you not feel that? I got a lot of junk. A lot of junk. Well, you know, I didn't know what was going on, okay? I thought, I thought something was swimming around my ankle. <laughs> I got my legs, but that don't mean I'm walking. Mm. I got my mouth, but that don't mean I'm talking. Oh, I got my hands, but that don't mean I'm clapping. Right. What I'm saying is that all I'm doing is doing what I love. And that is. And that's motherfucking rap. <laughs> Nigga, come on, no, class. Exactly. Come on, class. <laughs> Do that shit, man. No, I was. Come on, cause I'm out. You are in terrific shape. W w you go to the gym constantly, don't you? Uh, I try to go, man, at least five to six days a week, Conan. Uh, you know, right now I'm working on my trophy. That's what I call my body, a trophy. <laughs> uh, my fuck, I got 78 tracks. All of them, spitting nothing but shit, real shit. I can't. I can fight. If I got the toilet paper tissue, I roll it out right now. Still to this day, I ain't never wiped my ass. One of my closer friends, man, I've known the big fella for quite some time. Uh, our, our relationship took a turn for the worse uh, not too long back because Shaq has a habit of picking me up in front of my kids, and, and I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> he has pitched me twins, the big and black version. That's what he calls it. Uh, well, you he, two play twins. Yeah, we play twins. But here's the funny thing when he pitches it. He says, now listen. I'm going to be the Arnold Schwarzenegger, and you're going to be the Danny DeVito. As if it could have been the opposite way. <laughs> Come on, man. Just call yourself Mr. Pink. Now, can we get on with this shit? The fuck is on your goddamn face? Good God, you have done uh, just so amazingly well in stand-up. You damn right I have. Yes. <laughs> you don't get me, then get yourself. Yeah. Look, bitch. <laughs> I'm back. Matter of fact, bitch, I rap. Droppers on these bars ready to attack. Fuck a hoe, fuck a bitch, nigga. I'm rap. Oh, uh, got bars like a car. Uh, I'ma start my DVR. Oh, uh, first of all, they're like, oh, they're so lethargic. They sleep all the time. We get in there, they're all up, and they're they're just looking, right? They're all looking. So instantly, instantly, I go straight to racism. These are racist koala bears. <laughs> Well, you know, Nelson Mandela said about that. He said, uh, holding a grudge is like drinking poison and hoping it kills the other person. First of all, that's amazing, and I'm pissed off. Um, I'm pissed off. The way you said it, you was like, you know what Nelson Mandela said, and I was like, oh, uh, My uncle talk, this is how he look. I don't care what he talking about. This is how he look. Like, oh, these kangaroos are so happy, but if they get angry, they can kick your chest off. What? Yeah. What, what do you mean? I don't need to know that information because I'm not getting that close to a kangaroo. Right. Second of all, all that they told me, they said the kangaroo uses his tail to lean back and do this. And that's all I need to know. I didn't, 